what's up everyone um sorry for my voice i just woke up but um i wanted to do a video today of like a leveling guide because everyone keeps on asking me um like how to level up fast and everyone like is wanting to know how to level up fast and shit so um yeah i decided to do one of those videos today all right so the first thing you want to do to level up is um well in my opinion i spawn at um a tris and i um I usually pass down two items so I can sell them as well, so that's more money. And then I also get the golden ring, and then I sell that as well. And then I buy a weapon manual, my mantra trainer, and um, uh, I don't know, you know, you, don't, you can only have, you should only buy those two at the start. And I come down to the docks, and um, you make your way to Bandit Island. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna like speed up the video. <laughs> the island now um you're not gonna want to want to mess with those actually you know what um once you have like one of your mantra abilities like dark blade you can go up to these guys and use it on all of them like at the same time just like bam 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 and it'll give you so much mantra xp that's how you get your mantra up to like level 75 so fast like if you do that for like a couple of hours just using one everything um <clears throat> you have max mantra like 75 i mean so yeah Alright, so what you're gonna wanna do is um once you're level one, uh if you're confident with killing sharkers, you can go straight away and go and kill sharkers. Um but otherwise do that once you get like level ten, I'll just say. Um but yeah, before you get level ten you're gonna wanna come all the way up here to the bandit village and that's where you're gonna wanna farm your XP until you hit level ten. Bandits can usually spawn here, um, and then they usually spawn like anywhere here. That they can just randomly spawn you as a chance. So uh, yeah. You can see people are already farming them. You're basically just gonna wanna farm uh, these bandits here. Like, there's a bandit that spawns in there. Okay, this guy wants to attack me for some reason. Nah, uh, don't run now. Nah, don't run now. Don't run now. Don't run now. Alright. <laughs> I got luck from him as well. He had a normal good time now. Alright. So, ignore that. <laughs> Um, basically, you're gonna wanna farm here. There's a bad at the spawns there. By the way, these ones can parry, so be careful. There's one that spawns in there, there's one that spawns there, and there's one that spawns there. You're just basically gonna wanna farm all of these and then come out here when you're waiting for them to respawn. Don't bother with those for now, because they're just annoying. Um, and yeah, you're gonna wanna like wait for bandits to spawn on you. You're gonna basically gonna wanna do all of this um, until you get to like roughly level 10. Like, once you have like 30 medium. Um, just train your meat like your weapon, like not medium, like whatever weapon you have, train it. Once it gets to 30, I'm gonna show you where to go next. Alright, so this is for like when you have like 30 of your weapon. Um, I'd recommend to come here. You should usually be level like power 10 by the time you come here. And I'm gonna teach you basically how to like kill a shark at any level um can i equip something that doesn't make do as much damage i'll just equip a normal katana all right attack it twice and then it's going to do an attack it usually kicks first but it can swing twice and then it swings twice well it's already dead for me unfortunately but basically what sharkers can do they either kick straight away or they attack once and then they kick, or they attack once, attack once and then kick, or they attack twice and then kick. It can't attack twice and then attack once, it has to do a kick at the end. Um, from my experience, I've never had one that's done twice and then attacks again. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what you want to do. I'm going to keep on using a normal katana just to show you, um, hopefully a little bit better. 
but yeah, uh, you don't want to ignore those. I don't know if that's a live or not. I don't think it is. But yeah, just stand in front of it. Oh yeah, and it can do that attack. You just can just parry it. All right, I messed up there. And then you can roll. And it's already dead, unfortunately. I wish I could do that. I'm gonna do it on a um, either like a lower level account maybe sometime. I might make a video on that. Um, I don't really need to because those people already make those type of videos. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what you want to do. You want to do this until you, um, you like, so at the start, it's going to give you, like, if you kill one, it's probably going to give you, like, all of your five investment points, like, worth of XP by killing one Shaco. What, it, like, you want to keep on farming Shakos until, like, you kill a whole Shaco and you don't get a single point of XP from it. That'll be, like, roughly level 20 to 30, I reckon, like, probably 30. Um... And then that's like your, all you're gonna want to chain is your magic and your medium until you get to like level 30. And then once you get to level 30, you're gonna want to head over to an island called Minatrissa, and I'll show you that now. Also, this fully depends on the build that you're making, but most of the time you're gonna want to get like roughly 40 fortitude or like 30 fortitude. So this is for people that want to get fortitude fast. Slipstream here from uh, Lower Bandit and um, Song Seekers like in there, and then Minatrice is over here to the right. All right, guys. So once you're at Minatrice, we're well, basically gonna want to just follow my path, and uh, I will lead you to a village. Um, once you're level like 30, you can try and deal with these, they, it's basically a boss, they usually spawn in different enemies. Um, oh, I one shot it, I don't, I forgot that I had my thing fully charged up. But yeah, that's basically, there's, there's are usually bosses and they can spawn like enemies and shit that attack you. It's, they're just kind of annoying to fight, so I wouldn't recommend fighting them. Oh, what's the wrong way? things spawn they're like their shadow users they're really weak but they do a lot of damage and they make you bleed and if you don't know the more you bleed to an enemy the more durability it takes like the faster it change of fortitude so you basically want to like attack them well you're gonna want to cover fortitude but it says um i've learned what i can for now um also look my my entanglement thing is really nice like it makes me take less damage when i'm here and damages them a little bit um but yeah Pretty much, you're gonna wanna keep on attacking them until it says, oh, your medium weapons have potential, your force shield has potential, and then you equip your um, training vest and just let them hit you. You know, they should only have to hit you like three times, and then your fortitude will go up. And that's basically how you train it. Look how low my blood is already from these guys. Um, also, Hemophilia doesn't take that much extra blood away from you, so you can do this if you have Hemophilia as well. Um, so, I'd recommend doing this until you have like 30 or 40 fortitude. I'd recommend getting 40 because that's what you need for. Um, the kite shield i'm pretty sure and a lot of people like the kite shield so yeah just train up the 40 40 shoot by the time you've done that that's um 5 10 15 20 that's four levels times two that's eight levels so you would be like level do this until you get like right around about power 40 and um once you have once you get power 40 and you have like over 350 health um then you're gonna want to go to the depths and um even if you're comfortable going to the depths, uh, try and go with friends, um, but I recommend going solo at the start. Only fight like things that you're comfortable with and like you're 100% sure you can beat, because if you just see like a, like a normal croco and you're like, oh, I think I can beat this, don't do it. Just only fight things that you know for a certain that you can beat, alright? So yeah, I'm going to show you how to get to um, whirlpools. It's actually pretty easy for miniatures, so you literally just um, follow the wall, um, but yeah, I'll show you that now. <laughs> Alright guys, 
Okay, so once you're in the void sea, um, bubbles can appear. Um, if you go into a bubble, um, it summons a lion fish. So avoid bubbles if you're low level or like you don't know how to handle them. Also, people are scared of going through the void sea, just like there's a tiny bit of void sea, um, because Kaido might spawn. The chance of Kaido spawning is extremely rare, um, on this, like, trip here. Um, me and my friends took an hour to find Kaido, like, when we were actually trying to find him through the, uh, void sea, so. Don't be scared of Kaido or Lionfish, just avoid bubbles, and if a Lionfish spawns, just don't attack it. If you're not comfortable with it, just go to the whirlpools. Uh, but yeah. Also, to avoid, like, crashing your fucking boat into the depths, you're gonna wanna, like, break. Oh, I think I did a little bit too late. Reverse a little bit. All right, cool. So yeah, um, so this is this way your boat doesn't get destroyed like fully. Cause if you drive into the depths, <laughs> your boat literally gets fully destroyed. All right, so the only thing that I'm actually scared about in the depths right now is enhanced king crocs and enhanced owls. Um, those are the only things I'm really scared about, and two enhanced crocodiles. Uh, I'm not scared about anything else, but um, also good. Um, there's another thing that I'm scared about is the people that are, like in groups of like three plus that will have bells that go ganking in the depths like religiously, and I really don't like those type of people, but they exist, and it's annoying. I almost got webbed by one the other day, um, but yeah. So I had a turtle thing over here. <clears throat> Let me try and find it again. Yeah. Here. These things are easy to parry, you just spam and parry when it's doing that thing basically. And then when it stops, you can just hit it. To be honest, if you have a high amount of health, you can just spam hit them. And it won't really make a difference because they'll die before they even do enough damage to you. But they make you bleed a lot, so I'll watch out about that. Um Alright, so <clears throat> that's pretty much how you kill the um the turtle things. I need to find a crocodile so I can show you how to kill the crocodile because a lot of people struggle with crocodiles, like even Argo Monster said in his video that he doesn't fuck with crocodiles. Um, and I don't blame him because they're really annoying to fight, but um, I'll try and find one for you. That's a shark, I wonder where it is. I think it's down here. What the hell? I had that so clearly. It might be at the, up at the top, I'm not sure. But yeah, I hope I found a crocodile in this video. Because um, I really need to do one. Oh, crabs. Crabs are easy to kill. Basically, if you start attacking a crab, they can only attack in the direction they're facing until like they finish that move. Well, that, that's the two hits. Um, Alright, well, I killed it too fast. But basically, it can never do two hits. You can parry both of them. Or you can roll if you have like the thing that rolls twice. Um, what's it called? <clears throat> it can do a red attack. Um, like If you see red charging up on like one of its hands, it's going to grab you. The only thing you can do is roll. It can also slam down right in front of it without jumping, like just slam down. Uh, you can parry that or roll it. And then it has this like fan or something where it jumps there and slams down. You have to time that pretty well and then you can only dodge that. You can't parry it because it is the... I think you might be able to parry it, but I'm not sure. I've never tried and I don't really want to because the timing's really bad. Um, but yeah, I recommend just rolling that. Also, if you're low level, don't ever try to um, fight one of those king jellyfish. The queen jellyfish. <clears throat> it's just not worth it. They have like too much HP. Even at my level, it takes me like a good minute or two to kill it. Um, especially the enhanced ones. And they're so annoying. They do so much damage because they keep on just firing jellyfish at you. If you're lightning, I think the jellyfish don't attack you if you're a certain level. So it's easy for lightning users. But <clears throat> for people my level, it's, uh, I mean, without lightning, it's like extremely annoying to fight this but i still kill them at my level but like if you're low level don't even try it it's not worth it So what lionfish can do is they can attack you like three times and you can just parry all of them with this mouth like this i'm pretty bad at parrying right now because i don't even know why i'm bad at parrying actually all right so how to dodge this as soon as it starts going down you want to dodge i fucked that up that time i'll try and get a better example for you but yeah um all right 
Just like when his head starts going down, like halfway-ish, like that. There you go. That's how you want to parry it. Oh, never mind. There's two crocodiles. Alright, let me show you how to kill a crocodile. I'm trying not to trigger the other one. Alright, so it has its two attacks, like those two slashes. It has the tail, which you can parry as well. So it has those two attacks. And it has this. Uh, once you see the red coming, you can dodge it. There's the tail. Oh, yeah, and the mouth attack. You have to parry that three times. I don't know why my parrying is really bad in this server. But yeah, that's basically like the attack plans for crocodiles. Um, it's pretty easy to do. I don't know why I'm like throwing so hard right now. <laughs> Um, if you can subscribe, that'd be great. Cause I'm trying to hit 1k subscribers so I can start monetizing my videos. Cause um, uh, what's it called? <laughs> it's hard to get money as a college student. But um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys have a nice day. Goodbye. Now think about what you've done.